as you guys can see, we are blessed with anything we need. It's been a very long time. Fill us in very briefly on what, what we have been. I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to that, so you can hear that. Mm. Mm. It's not a man, it's a man child. Um, no, I've been just been working and doing some of the... Anyway, today we are going to be doing a challenge. We're going to be doing the Two Truths, One Life challenge. I love this because like it's a good way of just putting, exaggerating a little bit. Putting in Having a bit of fun. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the rule is you have to say everything with a straight face so that we know that... Oh yeah, I'm yeah. Pretty, I think I'll be good at that. Yeah. Alright. Maybe. Mm. Okay, so, see. Yeah. so do you do tip for tap? So you go for, is that the expression tip for tap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you do one and I do one? Yeah, I make up some really nice little box. Are you wearing this Shannon Xo palette? I am. Yeah. Alright, you go first then. Okay, my first one. Okay. Um, I really love rats and I had a pet, re pet, pet rat when I was younger. Um, I had a pet rabbit called guacamole. Um, and I had six kittens and all of them had six fingers and six toes. I reckon that last one's a lie. <laughs> that one? Yeah, the last one is a yeah. lie. No. Really? Did. Yes. Six kittens with six toes. So we had six kittens, so our cat had kittens yeah. and they all came out. Every single kitten had six fingers on each paw and six toes on each leg. Oh and everyone gosh. knew it was those kittens because they had an extra finger or extra claw. Thing. Yeah. So oh that's my true, that's gosh. true. So what's the other two? I you had a pet, pet rabbit, rabbit called Guacamole or I love rats and I had a pet pet rat. Oh my god, I said that a pet rat. <laughs> a I had a pet rat. I think that that first one was lying. <laughs> Yes, I don't like rats. Oh, but yeah, we I was had say. a pet rat when I was young. It was called it was Tiffany's, my younger brother's. And it was when he was like Harry Potter was really big. Oh. And so he got a pet rat and then he like didn't look after it and he called even called it the name that Harry calls it, whoever calls it. It was that same name. Oh, and really? he just like let it shit everywhere. Oh. And it stunk and it was disgusting. Oh, and I, I hate, hate rats. rats. I hate rats. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. Alrighty, my team, my team. Okay, alright. Our family loves Stargate so much that we named one of our pet fish, goldfish, Tilk. When I was learning to drive, instead of putting the gear into drive, I put it into reverse and accelerated. Just picture that. In reverse, accelerated. Uh, <laughs> and lucky last, I have jumped off the Auckland Sky Tower. I think that's Sky Tower on July. Yes! You're correct. Because I'm freaking shit scared of heights. Yeah, I have I been. <laughs> I have been to the Sky Tower and I've been to the revolving restaurant yeah, up there. I've been there too. But I've never gone onto that glass bit. Hell no. I've gone on that. But I would not be able to actually physically mm. jump off no. the Sky Tower. Scary as. No. I did 21 shots for my 21st birthday. I mixed kombucha with vodka and I didn't get a hangover. Or um, my favourite drink is tequila. Oh, those ones are hard. Okay, so I know that. The kombucha one with vodka, you didn't get a hangover? I didn't get a hangover. No. Because uh, uh, I remember the next day we went to Kama. Is that the night you had the kombucha? The night before? What was the first no. one you said? My favourite drink is tequila, and I did 29 shots for my 21st birthday. I can imagine you definitely did 21 shots for your birthday. I didn't. Well, I actually tried to. What did you try and do? You have 21 shots or a yardie? No, 21 shots, and it was apple vodka, and I could get through it, and I ended up having to dilute it so much that at the end, the 21st shot was like pretty much like lemonade. It's a lick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it must be the last one then. The kombucha? No, the tequila is your favourite drink. So tequila is not your favourite drink. Tequila is my favourite drink. <gasps> I thought it would be vodka. Well, I do like vodka too, but I love tequila. Like when I drink tequila, that's when I feel like I'm going to party. <laughs> like I can just have like a couple of vodkas and I'm like, I can go home. But as soon as I have tequila, it's like, it's over. It's... It's, this is going hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just break a doll. <laughs> Man, I'm really sucking at this game. Well, either that or I'm really good. I was like, I didn't even drink on my 21st. I didn't even Were you have, pregnant? No, no, I was just like, not into that. It's not about that life. 
but I'll just I am now. Make it up for lost time. Okay. Number one, I didn't go to Intermediate. I have had the same phone number since I was 16 years old and I have lost the phone whilst or while clubbing. I think that the one about you having oh, the phone since you were 16. No, it's true. Oh. Okay, what were the other ones that you lost the phone while clubbing? Yeah. What was the other one? I didn't go to Intermediate. Why did you have a password? Shh. Interrupter. Okay, go away. So you did go, the first one is true and the last one is a lie. No. Oh, the other way around. Yes. I so did go to intermediate. Well, actually, technically, mm. I sort of did because Carpenter Primary School was an intermediate as well. It's but not it's not an intermediate. It's called Carpenter Primary School. And I went, because it's a country school, we went right up to year eight. And you go straight to high school from there. So you didn't lose your cell phone while you were clever. Yes, I did lose my oh. cell phone. <laughs> when I was 13, I dislocated my knee in front of the whole school. I did my first bungee jump when I was 16. I was a child runway model when I was 6 years old. I've never heard of the child runway modeling. Is that true? You said it's true. Oh, okay. And my friend who I walked down the runway with, she stood on my show. And I just kept going with one show, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think the dislocated knee is definitely true, because I think you told me about this. Mm. Yes, that's true. So the other one's false. Now I just realised, because when you said your first one, you're like, I've jumped off the sky tower. I was like, I'd never do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I once had to help my dad move our sheep from one paddock to into a trailer. So we used this barbed wire that was already in the paddock to help us you know, guide them into the trailer and one of the sheep there got really, I don't know, really, yeah, yeah and tried to jump over me but in the meantime it dragged the barbed wire fence into my thigh. The next one was, I've watched my cook or my dad shoot a pig and then the lucky last one is, I once told my school crush I liked him and as I was walking away from him, I stepped in dog shit. <laughs> Well, I think the middle one is true that you would have seen your dad. Yes. Pig. Yeah. Yes, and it's terrifying. I hate I it. They like go into this like epileptic shock. I oh. hate it. Do that again. Epileptic. Epileptic. Epileptic shock. <laughs> um, oh, so you told your crush that she liked him and then she was walking away. You stepped in dog shit. Or the first one. I feel like the last one. Is false because that first one, how can you make up that shit? How can you make it up? That yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah! So the first one is true. Yes. And the last one that you said in dog shit yes. is like, Yes, yes. And God. then after that, my dad never ever asked me to help out with sheep. And my mum, like every time, the, even to, to this day, if we're ever at home and the sheep need to be moved, dad will ask the boys, not me. Um, anyway, it looks like you I won. Go. Oh, I did win! Yeah, I'm pretty sure you won. I'm you got pretty more. good. Yeah. And lying. Yeah. And some of those stories are quite hilarious though. I would never ever go up to my crush and tell him that I liked him. That's no. just embarrassing. You always see a friend and your friend goes up to them and yeah. just talk about it. Uh, yeah. You never exactly. tell someone straight up. You always ask your friend to ask someone out. Although yeah. one time I went to a party and they everybody found out that I liked this particular guy and he came to me the next day at my work in a hungover state and told me, why didn't you just tell me you liked me? I was like, because I'm a kid. I wonder if he will watch that. Who was it? No, I just don't want to say it. So did he like you back? No. Wolf's fucked you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Not in that way anyway. Bye, Bye. Felicia. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today, Hims. Hopefully fun. you can come back and we can do some more. I know, we need to find that one minute, whatever it is. I will find it. Oh, okay. We want to do another challenge. Challenge. A physical challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.